Hi to everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own online store on Shopify. One of the biggest and most famous online store, online platform for, for shops, private and for business. And if you still doesn't have um, account and if you still doesn't have um, your own shop, on Shopify definitely you need to make that happen definitely it's one of the best platforms to sell goods and services worldwide and that's why in this video I want to provide you with an all information that you will use to set up your uh, own first or maybe not the first um, online store on Shopify uh, before I've started to show you all the things, want to say that our team left the link in the description panel of this video and you can easily get access to this platform uh, using this link. So be our guest, use our link and let's start. Uh, first of all, I want to say that I saw all those videos, Shopify tutorials that is like one hour or three hour long. I don't want to waste your time. That's why I'm, I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible with a lot of value for you. So let's jump straight to business. First of all, uh, you need to get your own uh, account here. You need to press start free trial and uh, you starting your free trial this is absolutely simple. I will not show you how to how to pass all this registration because it's email address, password and your store name. Uh, just to mention the store name, all, all the names uh, of a store like a good shop, nice store and so on, probably they are occupied and, and you, need to, you need to figure out something better uh, and something that will describe your business as good as possible. But the platform will, will say that such store name is occupied and you can choose another one. So I, I made a new account for this video. So I'm going to jump straight to the dashboard of uh, Shopify and I'm going to show you how it works. All right, we are on the dashboard and that's uh, that's all when where you will spend your most of your time. Now let's talk about this. All, all of those buttons. We're not seeing this one for now. Home, of course, it's absolutely clear. It's understandable. This is home orders. This is the place where you'll see all your uh, abandoned checkouts, orders and all the things, products. And that's what we're going to start with. Um, you need to add the product, inventory, transfers, collection, gift cards, all the things, customers. Uh, like you will collect all the customer information here. Analytics is pretty understandable also. Um, this, this account was created just like literally minutes ago, just to show you all the things that you will use, uh, to make your shop works properly and to, to set up your shop as fast as possible. Uh, apps also, this is very fantastic thing. This, the, all those applications that you can add to your online store and those are the like pretty pretty interesting and very very useful uh, things so you can keep it in your mind so we go into online store what's actually happening now you see the online store is password protected uh, to disable password you need to choose the um, uh, one of the plans well password protection and so on pick a plan yeah you need to pick a plan i will not do that because uh i i i will not launch this shop because mm, this video is created just to show you how all the things works so let's go from the start you can add a product from the start or you can customize a theme and of course you'll be able to add a domain because nobody likes domains like mm, the best uh, online shop slash Shopify slash one slash 3.6 and so on. Uh, so you better to it's, it's much more better to add your own domain if you have one or you can buy it straight from here. 
but uh, of course i wanted to say that if you uh, if you're just newbie there are tons of educational materials provided with uh with the platform itself and you can educate yourself uh but Probably this video is uh, also will be very useful, and you can um, you can use both. So, customize theme. Uh, you see that? Uh, let's go to online store. We press on this. You see that there are tons of themes available for for your online shop. This is the debut, and this uh, is like basic basic debut team if you if you need to change uh the style of your um style of your page you need to visit theme store uh, and there are tons of interesting options for free uh or of course the pay themes and so on uh you see this free this is for 180 bucks so if you're jumping uh, if you jump into sell something without a money or you like just starting from a zero definitely it's better to use uh free themes but it's pretty similar and it doesn't matter for for this moment which theme you gonna choose let's customize all the things here and i want to show you that here it, it's not like uh other website building platforms that you can drag and drop all the things uh it's like with this some kind of menu here and everything is happening um, inside of each section. You see those sections here, uh, and everything is happening with all those sections um, uh, straight from this menu. So even even if you want to remove some uh, some element from this list, you need to jump into this list and here in the bottom you'll see remove section yeah so the header very and very interesting thing that um you can select in images uh, straight from here and it's not drag and drop as i told you previously um it's logo here main menu change and or remove you can home and catalog you see only those two two buttons here now you see the bag for shopping you see search bar tons of goods here it's just random name of the site because every this video is just to show you how things are happening here so home page only and all all of those all of those things you can uh you can manage here for example image with text overlay so explore free images the great thing that you can find tons of interesting um things and and like for tech for example let's use this one okay select it's not actually drag and drop as you uh may see in in the other website building platforms that's why you need to handle all with this left side menu uh, and actually everything is happening with those with all those buttons so tax size large extra small for example like that of course uh, it's up to you to choose the design of it to choose uh, all the things that you need to make with your site uh, and actually depends on type of business that you running Text size is going to be large. Image text overlay. You see all those. You can make it bold. You can make it italic, for example. And and even you can add a link to that button label and button link. Uh, so it's pretty understandable when you jump into to edit the sections itself, uh, and you can move them around. You can add all those. Mm, add a title or tagline and so on you, you need to describe your products uh, your featured collections and so on this is pretty understandable uh, and the best thing that you can use all those free images they are pretty available on the platform you don't need to buy them um, or you can of course you can upload your own pictures 
uh, but it's no need to buy uh, pictures if you don't have them. Uh, but those pictures are suited for um, for all those for all those backgrounds and not suitable for the for the products itself because if you selling some goods definitely you need to uh, create content or you need to find um, uh, the good one without uh, without the restrictions of usage and so on and so on definitely if you producing something some goods um, you better it's better to create your own content that will be uh, separated in the style in the quality from available one yeah all those of course you can add some sections that are pre-made it's pretty similar to uh, all the website building platforms uh, gallery image with text and so on and so on it's just a little bit unusual that you need to use all this uh, left hand menu but it can be um, it can be also convenient to use that uh, if you making your website for the first time let's go out from this and we go into products and we need to add a product how to add a product this also can be a little bit confusing because uh, you see all those things you need to fulfill them but it's very and very important and very and very convenient to uh, to make all things here and then you can organize all the things all your products to um, to collections and to so on and you can uh, type a tags and and you can make all those things mm, like um, organized yeah so you need to type a title for example yeah and description uh somebody likes to add an images here but i suggest you not to do that because you have the media section and you can add files and you can add your files here in the media section and it's gonna be um pretty much easier the pricing here i don't know why is this you are okay doesn't matter uh, so the price you can set up the price and you can compare this with the price that is a little bit higher not much higher because a lot of people uh, trying to sell goods like 10 bucks per item and compare at one thousand dollars yeah it's it, it's not necessary and of course you will not use that uh, if you selling products you know probably how much they cost and there's cost per item uh, so the price compared price and cost per item mm, you can charge tax on these products this can be useful for us um, citizens and so on so all the things this is a physical product or not uh, weight you can describe all this it depends on your type of business it depends on your um, on the goods that you selling so it's it's pretty understandable here how to add all the products and you can uh, make all those um, very and very easily uh, definitely if you want to separate your website from other one um, it's better to use your own content uh, for all the things for all the themes let's jump to theme one more time and you see there's uh, all the things are pre-made you can move them around for example to reorder them uh, or you can add more sections or you can make just a light website with just description and so on so definitely it's better to start your own business with your own content and with your own pictures but if you have no money for example to to buy some pictures uh, or images or videos from the stocks definitely it will be handy to use uh, this free images and you have all the all the available libraries in the categories like women's fashion man's fashion food and so on it depends on your type of business you can use it for free uh, I will not launch this this website just showed you all the things that you uh, you need to 
that you need to use of course there's domains and preferences in domains definitely you need to connect your own domain because uh, tons of goods here dot my shopify.com is not pretty professional yeah and if you need the professional one you can uh buy new domain straight from here or if you own one you can connect it and change primarily domain at this button uh all the preferences definitely you need your mm, website be visible to search engine machines and all of those are here uh if you're starting definitely uh you need to take care about all of this so it's pretty easy guys i wanted to say that it's pretty easy to to launch your first um website to launch your first online store with shopify because it's much more simpler than much more easier than uh, to build your own uh, website on uh, on other website building platform and in that case you have no infrastructure under your site and here on the shopify now probably if, if you watching this video you know that you want to sell some goods in shopify and that's why you watch this video so start to do your shopify definitely and i want to remind you that our team left the link in the description panel of this video and you can easily find that link uh, and get access to this platform thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed hope this was useful uh, and see you in the next video bye bye